Teen Dating Violence, presented by Benicia Friday Night Live and curated for the Kyle Highland Foundation Teen Dating Violence Awareness Week 2021. What is teen dating violence? Teen dating violence, also abbreviated as TDV, is physical, sexual, or verbal slash emotional abuse of any adolescent in the context of a past or present romantic and consensual relationship. The issue of teen dating violence is all too common. One out of every 10 high school students have been purposely hit, slapped, or physically abused by their significant other. One out of three girls in the U.S. is a victim of physical, emotional, or verbal abuse from their partner. From these statistics, these are just telltale signs of how common teen dating violence is prevalent among adolescents. However, teens who have been abused refuse or hesitate to seek help because they do not want to expose themselves or are just unaware of the laws surrounding domestic violence. Drawing from the previous slide, raising awareness on TDV is one of the most important ways we can assist victims of abuse. Only 33% of teens who are in an abusive relationship end up telling someone else about the abuse. When it comes to parents, 81% believe it is not an issue or admit they don't know if it is an issue in the first place. 82% of parents feel confident that they could recognize signs if their child is experiencing dating abuse, but 58% could not correctly identify all the warning signs. Without the proper knowledge to identify warning signs, fewer than half of victims end up reporting their abuse. And parents not aware that teen dating violence is an issue, this puts more adolescents at risk every day. Therefore, it is important to educate ourselves on the facts and statistics surrounding TDV so we can further direct and assist victims of abuse. Victims begin to develop feelings of shame, self-blame, and loss in both motivation and self-esteem. Violent relationships put victims at higher risk for substance abuse, eating disorders, risky sexual behavior, and further domestic violence. Half of youth who have been victims of dating or violence attempt suicide, this being compared to 12.5 of non-abused girls and 5.4 non-abused boys. As victims do not seek help, this causes the experience with abuse to carry over for the rest of their lives. What are the different types of abuse? One type of abuse is physical abuse. This can be defined by when a person hurts or tries to hurt a partner by hitting, kicking, or using another type of physical force. An example could be punching, squeezing, shoving, or kicking. In the U.S., 1.5 million high school aged boys and girls admit to being intentionally hit or physically harmed in the last year by their significant other. And one in every five high school students report being physically and or sexually abused by a dating partner. Another type of abuse is verbal and emotional abuse. This can be name calling on a regular basis, feeling demeaned or belittled by your partner, and being subjected to the silent treatment by a partner. This can result in manipulation, shaming, and accusation. Abusers using verbal and emotional abuse will wear down their victims until they take responsibility for their abuser's actions and behaviors or simply accept it. Furthermore, one in five teens who have been in a relationship said that their significant other threatened violence or self-harm in the event of a breakup, which is an example of a verbal and emotional abuse. Sexual abuse. Sexual abuse is any sexual activity done without consent by a partner. This can include the abuser fondling, groping, sexually grooming, or raping their partner. About 1 in 9 female and 1 in 36 male high school students report having experienced sexual dating violence in the last year. To add on, 26% of women and 15% of men were victims of contact sexual violence by an intimate partner before the age of 18. The last form of abuse is digital abuse. Digital abuse can be using technology to insult, threaten, or stalk your significant other. This can be a dating partner frequently monitoring your calls, text, or other online activities. They can also insist on having access to your social medias, 
or pressured you into sending explicit material online. 25% of dating teens report that they've been digitally victimized by their partners, and only 9% seek help, and it's rarely from parents or teachers. 84% of digital abuse victims said that they were also psychologically abused by their partners. Let's talk about some characteristics of a healthy relationship. Listed on the screen are nine equally important characteristics that define a healthy relationship. There's honesty, respect, trust, equality, responsibility, independence, communication, support, and accountability. Some people might value certain characteristics over others, depending on the weight of their values, how they were brought up as a child, and plenty more reasons. For example, some people might prefer to be more independent over being constantly communicative. In a relationship, it's important to find out what characteristics each person values and honor them. Here are some fantastic and helpful resources you can refer back to if needed. Some online resources include websites such as thehotline.org, loveisrespect.org, and joinonelove.org. Some local resources you can seek out are school counselors, psychologists, and therapists. Also, don't be afraid to reach out to your family, your close friends, or any other adult mentors that are always there to support you. Additionally, if the previous resources aren't fit for your situation, you can also call hotlines, and these are available for you 24-7. And lastly, Solano County's Family Justice Center can be a great resource for you to seek help or to simply learn more about family justice. Their address and phone numbers are provided here. Thank you so much for watching and listening along. We hope you learned something new today and can take away something from our presentation. If you have any lingering questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to any one of us at our emails listed on the screen or reach out to Kyle Highland Foundation, whose email and website are both listed on the screen.